hi guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to fix unfortunately contacts has stopped error on android devices okay guys so if you are getting this error uh, then i'm going to show you a couple of methods over here and uh, you can try that out and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not. okay okay guys so method one we have is okay so you have before trying this method you have to take backup of your contacts first by using super backup or any app of your choice okay so if you if you want this you know super backup so you just need to go to you know, the play store and search box over here you need to type this super backup okay here we have super backup sms and contacts so just tap on okay you just need to install this you know app I already installed it so you just need to tap on I need to tap on open button over here and then tap on contacts in order to take back of, of my contacts and then tap on backup and you can give it a name of your choice over here okay I'm just taking as default and then tap on ok as you can see it's backing up contacts And backup completed successfully just tap on ok as you can see uh, backup completed successfully do you want to send this backup file to cloud if you like you can send it but I'm just selecting not now and uh, also you can you know restore or backup very easily by tapping over here restore and just select the backup file and it will be as you can see it's restoring contacts okay guys so in this way you can take backup and restore your contacts are uh, very easy okay so we need this before trying you know this you know method one okay okay guys so after that you need to uh, you know clear the cache and data of the following apps okay guys so you need to uh, you know go to these apps like contacts contacts stories phone app if you have more than two phone app running then you have to clear cache and data of you know, both of both of them okay guys and also google plus if you have it okay so let me show you how you can do that so just go to the settings of your phone and find your apps or application manager so i have apps over here just tap on it and uh, you need to swipe to the right to all tabs okay and uh, here you need to find the contacts contacts app let me find that here i have contacts just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on okay and then tap on as you can see tap on clear cache as well and after that you need to go to you know the app you know back go back and find the contacts stories so here i have contacts stories just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok as you can see it's now done okay and just go back and find the phone app over here so let me find that app as you can see I have phone app over here uh, so I have two phone app running no problem just I need to tap on first one tap on clear data tap on ok I need to go back okay and then tap on the second one and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok and just go back and guys you need to find the Google Plus also if you have it. So check it if you have. So let me find that. Here I have Google Plus as well. Just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap. Okay, guys. So after that, uh, just you know, uh, you know, restart your phone and let's see if this you know fixes your issue. Okay, guys. 
Oh guys, so if our you know doesn't fix this your issue, this you know this is tapped, and after that you need to turn off your device, remove the battery, put it back, okay, and start your phone. And let's see if you know fixes your issue, okay guys. So you tried you know this method one, and it doesn't fix this your issue, okay. So you have to try this you know method two. So if you have you know visual voicemails then you have to try deleting them one by one and at the same time check that error went away okay guys so many guys have faced you know issues uh, they are getting this error because of their visual voice mails okay so you just need to try deleting them one by one or if you want to delete all of them at once then you can also do that okay just try this method too and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not so guys you tried this method too and it doesn't fix this your issue then you have to try this you know method 3 so guys in this method uh, you have to you know suppose if you have google plus app installed on your device then uh, you have to uninstall the update software or you know disable it force stop the app okay so just you know if you have google plus app installed just uninstall the updates you can adjust or you know disable force to stop okay so let me show you just go to the settings of your phone and find your apps or application manager here i have apps just swipe to the right to all tabs and find here google plus so here i have google plus as you can see guys i don't see you know my updates over here but if you have it then you have to uninstall the updates as well okay okay guys and just tap on you know force because i have force stop so you just need to tap on this and then tap on okay and it's now stop and after that you need to restart your phone and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay Okay guys, so you tried, you know, this method 3 and it doesn't fix this your issue. Then you can try this, you know, method 4. In this method 4, you have to uh, reset app references. So in order to do that, you have to go to the settings of your phone and find your apps or application manager. So here I have apps, just tap on it and then tap on this three dots over here and then tap on reset app preferences and then tap on reset apps okay guys and after that you need to restart your phone and let's see if this you know uh, fixes your issue or not. okay guys so try this method 4 as well so guys you tried you know this method 4 and it doesn't fix this your issue then you can try this you know uh, method 5 uh, in this method 5, you have to reboot uh, your device into the recovery mode and you have to wipe cache partition and also the wipe the Dalvik cache from advanced. Okay guys, so ways to get into, into the recovery mode on Samsung, I'm going to tell you. And if you have other phone, try to find from your manufacturer how, how you can get it into, into the recovery mode. Okay, and they will tell you very easily guys so for samsung phones uh, you have to turn off the device and in step two and after that uh, you know you need to press and hold the volume up bar and home buttons until you see the samsung screen now release the power button but continue to press home and volume up until you are brought to the recovery mode and press the volume down key several times to highlight wipe cache partition so let me show you i have you know one image over here let me make it big so that you guys can see it so here you can see wipe cache partition so you have to use you know volume up or down or to move you know highlight and power button to select Okay, so just delete the cache partition uh, by using you know this method and guys 
uh, you know, press the power button I already told you. And guys, uh, for wiping daily cash, uh, you need to, you know, press the volume down key several times to highlight advance. So let me show you. I have, you know, one image over here. Okay. Let me make it big so you guys can see it. So uh, here you need to highlight the you know advance and just select it by using power key and uh, you will get this you know this menu and just use the volume down key to highlight this pipe down with cash and just select it by using power key and just you know just wipe the down with cash okay so and after that you need to reboot your phone and let's see if this you know error goes away okay so just try these methods and let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not so hope this tutorial helps uh, thanks for watching this video take care and i will uh, catch you in my other tutorials